Have you ever second-guessed yourself when claiming input VAT? I know I have. Hi, my name's Lynette Harrison and you are watching Accounting ER. If you hold on for a moment, we can look at the different taxable supplies in South Africa and which items will be allowable and non-allowable for claiming input VAT. What are taxable supplies? First up, we've got standard rates at 15%. These would include supplies like casinos, tourism, accommodation, hospitality, liquor, entertainment, restaurants, sporting events, theatres and game drives as well as building material, furniture and fittings, machinery, motor vehicles and equipment. These are balance sheet items and are known as assets. These are items that will be used by the business over a long period of time. Fees for professional services such as doctors, lawyers, plumbers, electricians, consultants and accountants. Household consumables such as groceries, local transporting of goods by air or by sea, motor vehicle repairs, municipal goods such as water, electricity or refuse removal, renting of business premises. Telephone, internet and telecommunication are all examples of standard rated supplies. Next up, let's look at a zero rated supply. These are items such as white bread and brown bread, as well as white bread and brown bread flour. Milk, which includes powdered milk and cultured milk, as well as chicken eggs. Note that if you were buying a zero rated item as part of a meal, then it will be charged at a standard rate. So if you go to the roadhouse and you order yourself a toasted sandwich and a milkshake, you will be taxed on those items. Dried beans, lentils and edible legumes. Fresh fruit and veggies. Dried mealies, maize meal, samp and rice. Vegetable oil filtered in a tin. Sanitary pads, direct exports. Petrol. Sale of a going concern means that you are buying a business as it continues to trade. And because it's continuing to trade without stopping the VAT cycle that is happening within the business, there will be no VAT charged on the actual sale. Of Looking at these zero rated items, you will notice that most of it is products that are actually bare essentials. The government is catering for the different economical status in South Africa and that any person should be able to buy essential products without the tax burden. Next, let's look at exempted supplies. These are services such as interest, pension, provident fund, retirement annuity, medical aid and life insurance. Rental on a private home, educational services, childcare services, public transport such as taxis, buses and trains, as well as donations. Note that you may not register for VAT if your services are exempt. So what then is the difference between a zero rated supply and an exempted supply? When you are selling a zero rated supply, for example petrol, you are still allowed to register for VAT and will be able to claim input VAT on expenses that have incurred in the business. If however you are selling an exempted supply, you will not be able to register for VAT and therefore will not be able to claim any input VAT. So now that we've looked at the different types of supplies, it becomes obvious to us that we would not be able to claim VAT on zero-rated items 
or exempt. But that does not necessarily mean that we can claim VAT on all items that are standard rate. Which now brings us to the next part of looking at allowable items and non-allowable items for claiming input VAT. So what exactly are the rules for a non-allowable item versus allowable items? A non-allowable item, these are items that carry VAT. SARS will allow us to put these items through the business as an expense, but we will not be allowed to claim the VAT, although it might be charged at a standard rate. Examples of these would be entertainment and staff welfare, membership fees to any recreational clubs, and certain vehicles. Allowable items. These are items that are essential for the operation of the business or in direct line with the production of income or have been enforced by law. Now, an example of that would be health and safety. So, for example, buying a fire extinguisher or protective clothing. To qualify as input VAT, the purchases must be made for the purpose of making a taxable supply. There must be a standard rate charged, which would be 15%, and there must be a valid tax invoice. Ultimately, when it comes to source, we want to do things 100% correct. So when in doubt, consult the VAT 404 guide. I will leave a link for you in the description below. Thank you for watching Accounting ER. If you've learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up. And remember, subscribing is totally for free.